Coming up today on That LTD Life, AppSumo is back with another deal of the day. Today we're looking at Merlin, an AI chatbot, but I know what you're thinking, another AI chatbot. Trust me, Merlin does so much. I guarantee you, if you watch this video at least a few times, you're gonna go, all right, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you all of the features in the video, but first let's go over what exactly a deal of the day is. Now, AppSumo has a special amount of codes. I think it's around 150 that are available at a discounted rate for Merlin. Once those sell out, the price will go up for the rest of the day. So definitely don't sit on this one. Yesterday, the deal of the day sold out in around three hours. So just to give you some context, if you're watching this video early on, get over to AppSumo and grab a code if you're interested. Let's go ahead and check out the tool. Oh, I do wanna thank AppSumo for sponsoring today's video. Of course, I have a link for the deal of the day in the description, so go ahead and check that out. All right, onwards to the tool. Okay, so here's the web interface for Merlin, and I wanna show you this. I wanna show you the traditional chatbot interface because it's super powerful and it's got all of the features of both Claude as well as OpenAI's ChatGPT kind of packed into one. But really, that's only half of the tool. It also travels with you around the web via a Chrome extension, but it actually embeds itself in the content on websites you use pretty frequently, or at least I use, you probably use them as well. So make sure you stay tuned all the way through this and know that it's not just a chatbot, it's not just another ChatGPT clone. So first, let's see the clone part of it and it's fairly impressive, let's go check it out. All right, I'm gonna start a new chat here by pressing Command G, if you're on a PC, it'll be Control G, or of course I can just click the plus button and the little window pops open right here. Now, of course, I can write any prompt in that I like here, and I can choose any model that I like as well. So I've got Claude 3.5 Sonnet selected, and I can click here, and I can see all of the different models that are available. So you can get, you know, ChatGPT's latest models, you can get Llama, you can get Minstrel, really anything you want. It'll show you how many credits each inquiry is going to use. Like if you want to get the uh, 01 preview from OpenAI, it's 180 credits per usage because it's a very, very expensive model to use. But if you just wanna stick with, you know, GPT-40 Mini, it's a single credit per use. And to put that in some context, you get 5,000 credits with tier one. If you need more credits, just choose a higher tier. Notice that you also can bring your own OpenAI API key on tiers two and three. Okay, so back over into Merlin, we can choose our model here, like I was saying, but if you're not really sure, you can turn on the magic, as they say. This is the Merlin magic. You turn this on, and it's going to automatically choose the model with web access for my needs, the best one for my actual prompt. So it will just basically read the prompts, determine which model could handle that most effectively, and then utilize that. And it says with web access because it can search the live web, which is really cool. But what if you want to use the live web with say Claude or Llama? Can you do that? Of course. Here's how you do it. First, I'm going to turn off Merlin magic. Next, I'll choose the model that I want. Let's just go with Claude at 3.5 Sonnet. And then right over here, we've got live search. This will allow us to have web access during our search. So let's go ahead and try it out. I've got a prompt here. What was the score of the Vikings game yesterday? I'm recording this on Monday. They played yesterday. I'm going to press return and my search has been submitted. It should go out to the web find the correct answer and give it to me right here. And here it is, this is the correct answer. The Vikings defeated the Bears 30 to 27 in overtime and it gives you a little rundown of actually what happened. And of course there's a copy button here. I could also regenerate the output if I wanted to get another take on it. And I can click the little disclosure triangle and see all of the sources and how it actually thought through getting the answer. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Just normal AI chatbot style interactions, but there is a lot more here. Now, I recommend just about everybody heads over to labs right here and toggles on projects as well as crafts. This makes Merlin a lot more like Claude than I ever expected. Now, we'll get into both of these, but first, let's start off with crafts. What is a craft? Well, in Claude speak, a craft is an artifact. It essentially means that when you're using the chatbot, it can output, let's say, code or things that you might want to keep separate from the actual flow of the chat in its own window. Let me show you what this looks like. I'm gonna start a new chat by pressing Command G. Okay, so remember crafts are turned on and I just wrote a simple prompt here. Write me a simple website about the best tacos in Austin, output to a craft. All right, let's go ahead and press return. And right now the craft is being written. You can see it outputs right over here, very much like Claude if you've ever used that application. As I scroll down, I can see the code being written in real time here. 
I've got all of the CSS, the HTML being written, and here it goes, it even renders. I can see the preview, the code mode, and go ahead and edit it right here inside of Merlin if I want to. Now I still have labs open over here, I can close that. Now I have an even better look at what's going on. How cool is this? Now it's super easy to just copy this code, I can click right here, or I can download the HTML file, boom, I've got it. I mean, look at this website, it's actually pretty decent. Now there are placeholders where the images should go. So you can imagine a nice, 1200 by 400 image in the background, and then maybe some photos of the delicious tacos. These are real restaurants with real locations because it's got live web search, and it's even got their most popular item here. Must try the brisket taco over here for uh, Veracruz All Natural. It says, must try the Migas breakfast taco. I mean, <laughs> this is pretty good. Even says created with taco in ATX. Now, of course we could use Merlin to generate images for our new website here, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But first, let's talk about projects. Projects are places that you can organize your work, or maybe you have a workflow set up. Like one thing that we like to do is we transcribe our videos and then change them into articles that we publish on our website. That is all done through a project inside of Claude, but I could very easily replicate that here inside of Merlin for just a fraction of the cost. So I can create a new project right here. I'll just click the new project button. So I just called it YouTube workflow and then I described what I wanted to accomplish in the description box. Let's click create your project. All right, so now my project has been created and if you've ever used Claude, once again, this will look very familiar. We've got our project knowledge over here where we can add in content and then any chats or interactions we have, we'll be able to pull from that project. We won't have to re-upload it every single time we start a new conversation. You can also set some custom instructions inside of your project. Just right over here, click on the edit button and then add in the custom instructions for your project. So once you've uploaded your content, set your custom instructions, that's it. Go ahead and interact with your project. All of the chats will be saved right here so you can always go back to them. But as they start to get a little bit longer, just go ahead and start a brand new one or maybe you want to change subjects. You get the point. You can use projects any way that serves your business. Okay, so that is projects. Now let's head back into the chatbot because there's just a few more features that I want to point out and they're not just delegated to projects. You can use these throughout the tool. So first of all, there is the save prompt option. If you find yourself entering in the same prompt over and over again, but it doesn't necessarily require a dedicated project, you can save a prompt right here by just hitting command S or clicking on the little bookmark icon. Like for example here, let's say I wanted to convert something from ounces to grams, but I don't wanna type that every time. I'll go ahead and save this as a prompt. All right, now it's saved. And now I can go ahead and instantiate that prompt by pressing the slash key. I can see all of my saved prompts. I can use the arrow keys to choose the one I want, or I can start typing phrases inside of the prompt. It doesn't have to be the beginning either. I can just type in grams and it automatically pulls that one right to the top of the list. I can press return and there we go. I've got my prompt and I can just type in a number. So let's say I did, I don't know, how about 47? And there it is. It shows me the math to convert 47 ounces into grams. The next thing I wanna show you are chatbots. Now these are very much like the custom GPTs you might see over on ChatGPT+. Plus. To use a chatbot, you just choose the at symbol over here. You can literally just type the at symbol as well. And there are a few chatbots that you're given by default, but of course there's an entire library of public bots that you can use and you can even create your own. So let's say I wanted to use the marketing editor here. It says it will enhance my blogs and articles with the marketing editor, which will refine it for clarity and coherence. Now I actually happen to have one of my articles on my clipboard, so let me just paste it in here. All right, it's pretty long, but I'm gonna go ahead and submit this using Claude and I'll press return. It's gonna read the article, think through it, and then go ahead and improve it. All right, here we go, this is the output. I can scroll through it. If I wanted to copy this, of course there's a copy button down at the bottom. By the way, to create your own chatbot, you just do that through the Chrome extension, which honestly is not very intuitive, but once you know where it is, it's not very hard either. So just go up to the Chrome extension right here, and then it says chatbots, I can click on this. And right inside of the Chrome extension, of course, we can see all of the chatbots as well as the public chatbots. Now, a lot of these are built by apparently just Teenagers, I don't know, some of them are kind of goofy, uh, but you know, some of them will also be helpful. A lot of them are claiming to be ChatGPT5 or ChatGPT6 and just kind of ridiculous stuff, but you can thumb through them and see if there's anything helpful, but you can always create your own right up here at the top. Pops you open to another screen and you can just click the create a new chatbot button. Give your bot a name, choose a category from one of the options here and go ahead and hit continue. 
give it a description, hit finish. Then you can go ahead and create your chatbot. You can see there's a system prompt right here. You can go ahead and change the name or the description and set it to be public or private. Now chatbots are different than projects in which you can't just attach documents to it. So I don't want to give you the wrong idea about them here. They're meant more for just chatting about a specific subject, or maybe you have a very thorough and in-depth system prompt. All right, so that's the chatbot, but what else does Merlin have to offer? Well, let's go through a few things here. Now, you already know that there is a Chrome extension installed. That is definitely required to get all of this functionality I'm about to show you, but let's go ahead and check some of it out. So we've got the idea of summarizing any YouTube video, but how does that work exactly? I'm gonna click on this link right here, which is gonna go to an MKBHD video. Nothing too special here. It's just one of his older videos from about seven months ago. But what is special is that Merlin now lives over here on the right hand sidebar and it's already gone ahead and started to summarize based on the transcript uh, all of the different highlights of the video. I could just click right here to generate the summary. It's going to use up some of my credits and now I can very easily see some chapter markers, scroll through and see where the most important parts of the video are. I could also click over to the key insights where it will actually just summarize the most important parts of the video. Or if I wanted to turn this video into an essay, there's an option for that as well. Just click the create essay button. But maybe even more important than that, you can just chat with the video. So I can ask questions like, what's better, the $20,000 car or the $2 million car? All right, let's find out. All right, so in summary, if you're looking for affordability and practicality, go with the $20,000 car. Maybe a better question to have asked would have been, what models of cars is he comparing? But you get the idea. There's always clickbait inside of YouTube videos and you could easily skip right past that with something like Merlin. There's also the blog summarizer. Now this is going to show up in something like Medium where you get a little summarizer over here. Go away Medium, I don't wanna buy you. Now there's the summarizer right here. I can click on this. It will automatically summarize whatever article I'm reading. Boom, just like that. I can even interact to ask for an additional follow-up. And here we go, full on chat with this article. Now, I know there are a lot of Chrome extensions out there, but personally, I really like having this kind of baked into the interface. Of course, I can get rid of it if I don't want to see it, but not having to go up and find the right Chrome extension in my toolbar, that's really nice. It's just right there. It's a lot more likely that I'll actually utilize it. Next up is image generation. This is gonna take us off to a sister site called Bonkers. It's Bonkers by Merlin. And from here, we can generate all sorts of images. They actually have a brand new interface. Let's switch over to that. Right here, it says, try the new Bonkers. I like this, it's in beta, but it looks really good. You can see all of their, uh, you know, kind of, well, there's some modeling photos here or whatever, but you can see kind of the most recent outputs. We can scroll through, see what some other users are generating. This is the explore tab, and then you can just get ideas here. Like, oh, okay, here's a nice family photo. I wonder what prompt they use for this. And it looks like this one is not in English. It looks like it's in French probably. So I could copy that prompt and use it again if I wanted to. Or even if you just find an image that you kind of like the style of, you can reuse that exact same model. So you open up the image inside the Explore tab, and then it says use model, use prompt, use style, or regenerate the exact same settings. Yep, so let's head over to the studio. I'll kind of show you what all of those settings are. So once I'm in the studio, I can go down here and I can just enter in a simple command. So here's my prompt, a sumo wrestler eating a taco while watching his laptop screen. I can open up the settings here and I can choose more specific settings. If I don't wanna go into any of this, I don't have to, but I can go ahead and set up the model that I'm using. So here are the models that are available. There's a bunch of flux models now available, which are really high quality. There's also style options. So let's say I definitely wanted this to be Oh, how about maybe 3D? In fact, I think that would look pretty cool. I'm gonna choose the 3D style. You can also choose the aspect ratio, so you can toggle through you know, three by two, 16 by nine, or go all the way up to nine by 16 if you wanna do some vertical content. I'm gonna stick with 16 by nine, and the last option down here is how many images I want to generate. Let's go with four, and we're gonna generate this. Hit create. All right, I've got my outputs. Let's go ahead and check them out. All right, this first one looks like it's kind of made of Play-Doh, but he is actually doing the thing that I wanted, which I've never actually gotten a good result from this prompt, which is why I continue to reuse it. All right, this one is decent. I mean, for that 3D kind of, uh, you know, DreamWorks, Pixar type of look, it's not far off. I like that one. All right, this one looks a little crazy. You know, he's got the like taco just like literally hanging out of his mouth. And this dude looks mean. But overall, it's kind of fun, nice outputs. Um, you could definitely get some usable images for like your blog. 
using this type of tool. I'm obviously doing a more wild kind of crazy prompt, but you saw some of the examples before. They look real and human and very high quality. All right, so let's do a speed run here. What else can you do with Merlin? Well, of course, you can chat with multiple PDFs three times better than chat with PDF. You can upload as many documents as you want here and just start chatting away. You can use Merlin right on Twitter. Here it is. I want to have it write a dad joke for me. I'll just click this button. It's going to generate the dad joke and I'm ready to go. If I want to customize it, I can choose the option right next to the big button and that'll let me customize the prompt. And yes, you can even use this in replies. Not a big fan of X, but prefer LinkedIn. Well, Merlin works with that as well. Just click right here to start a post with AI and you get a list of prompts right here. There's also a rewrite with AI button. And there's also a fun one down here to create an AI chatbot based on a Twitter profile. So anytime you visit a Twitter profile, you're gonna see a little button right here that says create doppelganger. And when you click on that, it's gonna become a persona over in Merlin where you can actually chat with it. It's got a list of the most recent chats here. And then as you engage, it's going to mimic that style. Now, this is only a few of the fun things that Merlin can do. Head over to the AI tool section here, scroll through and you're gonna see just a huge number of different tools. These all have their own user interface too. So here's a free AI baby generator. Let's click on that. So you add in the father, you add in the mother and it will generate an image. All right, I can't help it. I gotta try it. What's it gonna look like if my wife and I have a baby? By the way, we have a few of them. Let's go ahead and generate a new image here. I did set it to be a boy just because well, I had to choose one, so why not a boy? All right, there you go. That's not at all what our son looks like, but it's still a lot of fun. You can have fun inputting different people and seeing what their children might look like. All right, now we'll truly speed run through some of these tools. You can see them all over here. There's an essay writer. There's a paragraph rewriter. There's an AI humanizer. There's some SEO tools. We've got face generators, like maybe you just need a new avatar. Click right here, set up your specs, and you'll get a brand new imaginary person. We've got profile picture generators that are very similar, logo generators. So enter in the type of logo that you want, the name of your company, and it will spit out a logo for you. Bio generators, AI Instagram caption generators. There are so many tools here. You could have so much fun, honestly. I mean, obviously this is a business tool as well, but you could have so much fun just playing around with these different tools. There's even a Wordle solver. So just go ahead and click over here, enter in your text, and it'll help you solve Wordles in seconds. Not sure what movie to watch? Well, there's a random movie generator as well. All right, so that has been Merlin. It's a very impressive tool. There is no way around it. You get access to all of the best models. They have very unique integrations built out with very popular websites, and there's just a bunch of fun AI tools. I really like Merlin. I'm kind of thinking about canceling our very expensive Claude Pro subscription. It's a team subscription, so it's like over 150 bucks a month. I could get this for uh, just a one-time cost. I mean, I gotta consider it. You do what's right for you. I'm gonna go ahead and give Merlin an 8.4. If you do wanna grab a copy of Merlin, I'll have my link in the description. I'll also be hanging out in the comments if you have any questions about Merlin or any other AppSumo LTDs. That's gonna do it for this video. Get liked and subscribed if you haven't already. My name is Dave. I'll see you in the next review.